vlog ever um i uh yeah i thought i'd carry it on um loads of you had commented on my very very first vlog that i ever did um and thank you so much to everyone that commented and gave me such positive response that was incredible i was so nervous doing that i cannot tell you before i clicked that button um, to upload it, I um, yeah was terrified. So thank you everyone. Um, hopefully I'm not going to go on too much this time. Um, I don't have as much to say <laughs> as I did last time. Um, so I'll start off by showing you what I'm wearing um, and also showing you where my bump is now. Um, so I'm twi nearly 29 weeks pregnant now. So um, yeah, basically, um, I've made my first Moneta, yes! Um, so, uh, I think everyone in the whole entire world has made a Moneta before except me, so um, I finally jumped on the bandwagon and, and did it myself. So, um, this is she. <laughs> um, I've got some crisps on me as well, sorry, that I should have totally sorted myself out before I did this. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you can see the fabric okay. This fabric I showed you last time on, on my first vlog, um, it's the houndstooth jersey um, that I bought from the Sew Over It stand at the Knitting and Stitching show. Um, so yeah, this is the Minetta that I've just adapted and tweaked slightly. There's my bump. <laughs> um, yeah, just just tweaked, like, brought the waistline up, um, just so, obviously, there's plenty of space for my bump to get bigger there now, so, so you can see, um, there. Um, yeah, so I brought that up, and, um, because I brought that up, I made the length of the skirt longer, which actually I then discovered that I didn't need to do, because, um, I'm not gifted with length of limb, so uh, I generally I always have to hack off the bottom of any skirt that I make so ended up adding two inches and then um, before I hemmed I tried it on and I think I took off about four inches so I skipped the pockets as well which um, maybe I shouldn't have skipped but um, I'll get onto this in a minute but I did want to make this dress um, for an event that I was attending um, which I saw loads of lovely people at um, on Sunday just gone so this finishing this was a bit of a rush job so yeah the pockets didn't happen unfortunately and I think they would be really lovely but yeah it's so comfy the fabric's beaut and um, yeah I think next time I um, before I use the pattern again I'm gonna just adjust it because I've got I always make an generally always have to make an adjustment for narrow shoulders everything else feels lovely i've been using my rotary cutter um for cut especially for jersey um, and i haven't really used that much before um that's a massive revelation that was so good it was so quick and it looked so neat it was amazing i'm going to do that so much in the future um so yeah i did that um so yeah this is my latest make um, which kind of takes me on to what the event that I was just I just mentioned and um, that I was attending. Uh, so I went over to Shoreditch on Sunday just gone and I went to the launch party of the Susie magazine which I've got here to show you. So um, this I'm sure everyone already knows about this but this is um, a brand new magazine um, that is basically um, it's like a really posh fancy sewing dressmaking magazine um, I'll just give you a quick flick through so you get a flavour of some of the things like the, the sort of fashion element of it is really high and it's high end, high quality magazine um, all your favourite sort of uh, like indie pattern brands in there 
um, some really cool ideas, amazing like interviews with loads of bloggers. And there's Gabby. Hi Gabby. I was talking to Gabby at the party on uh, Sunday and she's amazing. So yeah, there she is. Um, yeah, and oh my God, sorry, I've just come across the Clio. Everyone was wearing a Clio at the party and I so want one. Um, I think I need to wait until I have had the baby before I can make one, but um, I'm dying to do that. So yeah, I think they've sold out of these now though, so I don't want to bang on about it too much, but it's pretty amazing. Um, and I think it's going to make its way into quite a lot of my Instagram photos. Um, yeah, so I love the back as well. I like to party, and by party I mean stay at home and sew. That's pretty much like my motto, I think. So, yeah. Oh, and there's some cats in it as well. It's so cute. I love it. The next thing that I wanted to show everyone is a couple of gifts that I got for my birthday. So my lovely husband, <laughs> bless him, it's quite heavy, so bear with me. Um, oosh, uh, bought me this amazing sewing box. Um, it's from Stoff and Still, um, which I love their website. And um, I don't know if you can see this, I'm gonna try and open it so you can see how incredible it is. So it does this on both sides. Sorry, it's messy inside because I've totally not organised it very well. So it does that and that opens up there. So I don't know if you can see that there. But how cool is that? And so many different compartments and so much storage space. And it does that on both sides. So like, it kind of looks like an aeroplane when I've got it all open. But um, it's so cute, it just looks really sweet in the sewing room. Um, so yeah, thank you husband, <laughs> he did all right. And talking about the sewing room actually, you might notice um, a couple of changes. I've been working on a few things in here um, and I'll probably blog some photos and stuff soon, but uh, I've updated like my, my pegboard. Please tell me if that clock's annoying because um, I wasn't sure how that would come across in the video, but I love it. Just rearranged a few things. Actually, if I move out of your way, um, yeah, I've just arranged like my chalks and there's some ribbons and an Orla Keeley like yellow little tub with pens and like for marking my fabrics. Obviously got all my threads and scissors and stuff up there and I don't know if you can <laughs> see the mouse, but I really wanted it on there. Um, it's a Liberty um, pincushion mouse. So I've ended up having to be a, a little bit creative with the pegs. It's this one here. Um, so I actually have, have wrapped his tail around so he's like just hanging there, which is a bit weird, but it looks quite cool. So it was lovely before, but I've just tweaked it and added bits here, there and everywhere. Next things I was going to show you are a couple of fabric purchases that I've made. This, uh, if any of you follow me on Instagram you will have seen me going on about this, but um, this is a jersey which I bought from uh, Backstitch. Um, so it's black and it's got like these, I don't even know what they're made of, but like gold spots. So if I just hold that up, actually, let me open it up. Ta da It's so pretty and I really don't know how that's gonna come across in the film, but um, they're raised. So it's got a bit of a, a texture to it, um, but it's just, just plain black, um, just with these little spots all over it. And they're shiny and they're beautiful. So it's really like tactile and I just want to stroke it and rub it. Um, sorry if that's a little bit weird. So I'm dying to use this. So yeah, I'm going to make, I've, I've actually, um, on the, one of the Black Friday deals, um, I bought some um, Megan Nielsen uh, maternity patterns. There's a skirt and um, a top that I've bought, so I'm hoping to try and mash them up to make a dress. Don't know if that'll work, so we'll see. Um, 
but I thought that would make a really cool um, like Christmas party dress. The next fabric I have had for a while but I haven't shown on, on I didn't show it on my last vlog. This petrol blue um, needle cord it's gorgeous colour. Sorry it's a bit creased up, it's been folded up in my stash. So um, yeah it's this amazing like quite a bright colour so if you can see that okay and yeah it's gorgeous I really want to make a Cleo though um, I think I uh, like I say I'll just have to wait or I could just try and guess what size I'll be after having the baby maybe quite big I don't know yeah that would make, that this would make a lush Cleo um, I'll bear that one in mind. That's from um, Guthrie and Garney. I just bought it from the website. And then finally, the last thing that I wanted to show you is, I'm so in love with this. I invested in another, P I'm all over PDFs at the minute. I just think they're such a fantastic, kind of a shortcut really, just quick way of getting a pattern instantly. It's in your inbox. So I've bought this, um, this is a Pauline Alice and I love her patterns and it's called an uh, Aldea dress so it's um, to be made with knit fabrics kind of sold that you can make any combination of dress that you want and there's um, I can't remember how many but a whole different number of actual different garments you can make from using these different combinations of bodices, sleeves, skirts um, which I know you can do with other patterns, but it's nice for it to be kind of ready-made in that way. So you could, you know, just pretty much pick which parts you want. Like I'm thinking of making something with a view A skirt, so quite a tight skirt. I'm going for more like fitted stuff actually at the minute. Aside from this, this is, um, the Manetta's really comfy. Um, but maybe with a, a full-on bodice, just so I'm a bit more covered up. I'm a little bit conscious of covering up at the minute because I'm a bit, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my most recent purchase um, aside from my Megan Nielsen PDF. So sorry, they're not, they're not as, it's not as pretty to show you as like a nice packeted paper pattern, but you know, it's cheaper than a, a printed paper pattern um, and it's instant and um, I just need to get round to doing all the um, cutting and sticking and everything. So last time I vlogged, um, I talked about making a Lola coat from the Sew Over It ebook. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. So um, that's probably my next project on the hit list. And I'm really excited about using my rotary cutter again. So I'm gonna use that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it from me. Oh, and I really need to mention that this will probably be my last vlog before Christmas unless, I don't know, I might, I might end up doing another one but um, we'll see where time takes me. So that's everything from me and um, if I don't vlog again, have a wicked Christmas and I hope you will get loads of sewing presents and, and patterns and fabrics and stuff, that would be cool. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks if you've watched for this long, uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it, it's the comments I've had like I say have been incredible and you're all amazing and I love you all so much. So that's everything from me for now, so thank you very much and I'll see you on the next vlog, bye!